Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl TJ. Today I'm super excited because I'm installing a bomb.com synthetic unit. Yes, she is synthetic. This is Altre's Melted Hairline Lace Front Unit, uh, Lace Front Wig. Her name is Chandel. I believe her. I got her in a 1 or 1B, but this is her straight out the packaging. This is the full construction of her. She was soft. She had bounce. She had volume. The shine wasn't too much, but this is the overall construction of this unit. So this is what it looks like once I put her on. This is a side part unit only. Hear me out, a side part unit only. Don't think you can go into this unit and part in the middle or on the other side. This is the only side that you're gonna be able to uh, part it on. This is the back of the unit. I put it on my mannequin head so y'all can see how this unit is given. That's serving, it's serving bombshell curls. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, I'm just gonna go in today and just fully customize it. I'm talking about hot combing, plucking, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just look at the hairline though. This is without me plucking it. Look how good the hairline looks. So if you do not want to go in and pluck it, you do not have to because baby, look at it. It's giving us life. But like I said, I'm just gonna go in and do a little bit of customization to it just so I can see what it's gonna give us. Okay, I just want to see. I've never uh, plucked my synthetic units before. So now I'm just going in to tint the lace. I actually ran out of product doing this so it looks a little light and not as deep and rich as I would like it to, but we're going to finesse it. Now with these units, you will have to tint uh, the lace if you're a deeper complexion um, like myself. So you gotta do what you gotta go and do what you do. So now this is what it's giving us. And like I said, it looks 20 times better compared to the first clip I showed you guys when I first tried on the unit. I'm going in and we're gonna go ahead and cut off the lace and baby, look how she is blended just went in my forehead. She is not laid down at all, not at all. I'm just cutting the lace off. Now, let me just put this here, y'all. I did cut the combs out and the band out. Um, from the inside of the unit because it wouldn't fit on my head. I have a head circumference of about 21.4 or five. So you do get a lot of room. Like, as you guys can see, I have to trim the edges off. I feel like she's big head, big head friendly um, as well. So yeah, I think you guys will be pretty much safe with it. Now I'm just going in with some of my Erica J glueless spray to secure down my entire unit. Um, y'all, ever since I bought this product, I have not put it down. If you do not like wearing units more than 24 hours, I definitely would recommend this product because sis, it, it, it gives you that maximum hold, but for only 24 hours. Now I've worn it over 24 hours, but I definitely had to uh, reapply this spray after 24 hours, but I love it, okay? Let's just talk about quickly while I'm securing down my wig remove the remover process i've had so many people ask me what does that entail basically i just use water to remove anything if i'm using got to be glue or any type of lace tinting i mean lace spray i just use water do not rip your wigs off your head because you will have no edges i'm just being 100 percent honest i used to do that all the time in the beginning and my edges were bald now don't get me started on the lace glue because i have not mastered that i just did a recent install and i could not I did not upload the video because my edges. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing enough to be showing you guys that because now I got to grow my edges back. Like <laughs> people don't talk about that enough though, about the, the the removal process of your wigs and how you, your edges can go with it. So if y'all see my edges bald, don't come for me. This is the second time I've done that. I told the story a long time ago about me using a ball cut method to, um, you know, lay down my units. And then when I removed the ball cap wig, my edges came with it. And this time, the, it, the same thing happened. So I'm doing something wrong, y'all. I got to study on the lace glue. <laughs> I'm trying to go a ball on my edges. That's just not cute. 
But now I'm just going in to blend my hairline. And like I said, I ran out of product, so I'm just trying to use some cream foundation to blend it the best way I can. So I know it looks crazy right now, but if you don't have an elastic band, you need to invest in it. Y'all gonna see why I'm telling you to get an elastic band. This was the step I used to be missing. So boom, I'ma show you guys why. This is why you need it. Because baby, that lace is melted. Sheesh. <laughs> Y'all can't tell me that nothing, okay? So anyway, now I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten up the part just a little bit. Um, Y'all should see like the out footage, like the footage that I don't include. Y'all probably said this girl took 10 minutes to straighten up a part. Yeah, that be me. <laughs> that be me. I be struggling with the parts because they be looking straight and then they end up looking crooked. Um, but anyway, I wanted this part a little bit more curvier. So I did add like a little oval to the back of the head. I'm gonna add like a oval or a half semi circle. Y'all yeah, don't know how to explain stuff to the front as well, but I'm just going back in with my hot comb to make sure everything is nice and flat. Um, mind y'all, I haven't detangled the hair since I plugged it, so uh, I ain't running that comb all the way through it because <laughs> I haven't detangled the hair at all yet. But just look how flat this unit gets just with hot comb in it. And I do have her on a setting of five and she's super flat, she's super laid. Now I'm going in with a cream foundation because I want my parts to pop, okay? I feel like when you don't have your part defined, it, it gives me wig vibes. Any day, all day long, I can look at your hair and be like, sis, that's a wig, okay? So uh, please define your part. So now y'all gonna see what I'm talking about because I said the part is too straight, it's too boring. Let me just give it a little swoop up here. So that's what I did. I wanted to have a little shape to it. I don't know how to say it, y'all. <laughs> But y'all, y'all watching me, right? Okay. Um, another little rant while I'm on here running my mouth. Let's just talk about the tea about these units, okay? Y'all know that these units are fairly cheap, okay? So you cannot expect these units to act as if it was a virgin hair unit. I get so many comments, well, this tangles, this does this, this do that. Y'all, I know it's synthetic. This it's, it's a cheap unit. What are you what do you guys expect? I don't understand the expectation. You want a four hundred dollar wig, you want a forty eight dollar wig to act like a four hundred dollar wig. That's just not logical, okay? If you don't like synthetic units, I have tons of videos of virgin hair and you can go way over there, but the expectation is not realistic, okay? Because honey, I love me a synthetic unit. I don't care what nobody said. So y'all, we're coming down to the end of the video. I know I ran my mouth the whole 10 minutes almost, but anyway, I'm gonna go in and detangle it and I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna hold y'all, y'all can see. I was struggling getting that comb through there. I feel like the way they, um, I guess, the way they designed the unit, it was meant for the curls to be in here for a good minute, okay? So when I went to try to detangle those curls, sis, they were stiff. They were like, they weren't going nowhere. <laughs> so I had to go in and detangle it using my paddle brush. This step is optional. I did not want those curls in there anyway, but like I said, I plucked the unit. So I had to go in and detangle it and get all that hair I plucked out out of the unit anyway. So like I said, it was kind of a tangling when I was doing that and getting stuck and stuff like that but i feel like it's just the way that the curls are made to last long that's why they they they, they were in there like they were stuck okay so 
this is me just removing the pluckage that I did. So this is the end of the video. Like I said, I did get shedding. I did get tangling, most definitely. And this unit is probably gonna tangle up on you in the future. This is synthetic. You should already know what to expect with it, okay? So all the information will be listed down in the description section below. This is a beautiful, beautiful unit. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And until my next video, your girl, see you later. Bye, guys.